Hey, how you doing? I'm going to show you how to create this really basic, simple, easy timeline in Bricks Builder. And it works and looks really good on the mobile as well. No extra plugin, no funky code, really easy. And you have complete power and authority to make this look however you want. Let's get on to it. First thing we're going to do is just add in a section with a container. And I'm now going to duplicate that container. You can have a container with two child containers or two blocks or however you want to do it. I'm just doing it with a section and two containers. Now this parent section, I'm going to set it up so that it is now set up as a horizontal row. Everything we do is actually going to be in the second container. The first one is just there so that we can have like a border line. Now, when it comes to the mobile, we will be hiding this one completely out of view because it's no longer needed. But just so you understand, we have a parent section or parent container and then two child containers inside. But everything will be done in the second one. In fact, I'm going to go to this second container now. I'm going to go to style. Go down to where we have border and box shadow. Go and go to border, basically. And on the left-hand side, I'm going to say give me a two. And I'm going to say also give me a bit of a line. In fact, I'm going to go for an orange line like that. You can't see anything at the moment because I haven't added in any content. But, oh, sorry, I need to make sure this has got solid as well. That's pretty key. If you don't have solid, you ain't going to know what to do. So we've got solid, two on the left, and we have an orange line. Then what I'm going to do is now start to add in my components. Now, the easiest way to do this is to actually go and drop in a block into container number two. And if you imagine every one of our little timelines, left, right, left, right, is going to be an individual block. The reason why I say go for block, because now we can drop into here anything we want, any number of items. I'm going to drop in an icon and a little bit of text. So let's go and grab an icon and drop that into the block. And we'll might as well add in some rich text as well. And you can see what's going on now. We've got the text below the icon. I'm going to go over to my block and I'm going to say make this now be a row like that and we might as well just center the items as well. Now I'm not going to spend a lot of time styling this out so I'm just going to get rid of some of the text over here so we all have it nicely on one line. And then with our icon, I'm just going to go and change that. I've gone for font, awesome, solid, circle, and I'm going to pick this particular one over here. So we have a nice big circle. And then I'm going to change the color to be that orange as well, like that. And I've gone for 40 pixels like that. So far, so good. Um, the rich text is very close. Now, you know, again, you could do some spacing on it inside of the box, or you could just very easily go to your rich text go to your layout and you might say, okay, on the margin on the left, give me about, I don't know, 15, something like that, pixels, however you want to do it. Now, the key bit though, is that we have this line over here and you can just about see the line now, you can just see it. But the icon at the moment is kind of to the left of it. What we're going to do is click on the entire block, go to our layout. And now where we have our margin, we're going to put in a negative number. Now I'm going to type in negative 20. In fact, I've just changed it to minus 21. That's probably better. But every time I now duplicate that block, that line is going to grow. Look, let me show you here. If I just, let me just shrink down the block down here. Let's duplicate it. You probably can't tell at the moment, but that line is continuing right now. In fact, I'm going to do something here. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to go to my block and I'm going to go and add in a little bit of padding onto my block. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, give me about 20 there and give me about 20 at the bottom. Can you see how the line has actually gone and got bigger? In fact, let's just go to the entire section. Um, and I'm just going to say, give me about uh, 30 there and uh, 30 at the bottom as well. Just nicely space things out. Now, when I duplicate my block, can you see what it's done? It's continuing. And the really great thing about this entire layout is if I was to now go to my original block that we currently have here and I go back to my content and I now say this is going to be set to be a wrap and we'll just select it from here. If I was to now go and select a image and we drop the image in below the text, at the moment it goes all the way to the side. Set my icon width to be 40. I'm going to go to my rich text and I'm going to make that be about 60% like that. And what it now does is push the image below. So now if I was to go and add in an image, which we will do, I'm now going to make this width of this be, I don't know, let's just go with 60%. 
but it still wraps on to the next row because we've got 40 and 60 in the two items above. And then I just give it 55 margin on the left to move it inwards. So I can start to add in as many items as I want. And I can control whether they're wrapping or not with the width. But let's just go back over to this second block, which at the moment is in slightly the wrong order as to how I really want it to be. Now, what I could do is just go to the block, go over to my content, and I could reverse the item. So when I do that, now we've got the icon has gone to the other side. I mean, you could, if you want, not do that and just go here, pick up the uh, text and just swap it over like that as well. It's entirely up to you how you want to do it. I do think, though, that by going over to the block and hitting the reverse, it's going to work out better for you. And here's the reason why. Let me go over to my rich text at the moment. We're going to get rid of the 15 we had there and put it on the right instead. So we get the spacing. Then we go over to my block. Now, remember, everything sits in container number two. And we had a negative 21 originally, which I'm going to completely get rid of like that. And what we now do is put in a load more negative to move everything over to the left hand side. And I've gone for minus 475.5 <laughs> because that just kind of worked for me okay. And what we now have is a timeline left and right. I mean, you could put like words in if you want and then just make sure it crosses over the line in the right place. And if I was to now just do something like this, like, look, we've got block one and block two, and I now duplicate block uh, two, or block one, in fact, which is this new one here, and I pick it up and move it below like that, I've got item number one, item number two, item number three. In fact, we'll get rid of the image over here because we don't really need that there. But can you see how it starts to alternate? It's all looking really, really good. There is something I forgot to mention right at the start. Do make sure that you give your entire section or parent container a proper width. So I didn't mention it, but this container does have a width of 1000. That can be important because if you don't do that, when you start to do your left and right margins with moving your blocks to be positioned in a certain place, it doesn't always sit perfectly. Like here right now, this looks a bit off. But when you view it on the proper screen, it's looking fine. So I could quite easily now go over and let me just minimize all of these like that. I could now duplicate that one there and just move it now to sit below the next one. But how does this look on the mobile? Really, really tragic until you do one little quick thing to make it all OK. In fact, let me show you when you go over to the mobile. Well, that is how it looks. All right. Pretty, pretty bad. Right. But it's not that difficult to sort out. Give me about 40 margin on the left. Now, if you'd done it on the padding, the line still would have been um, hidden away in a way. So let me just show you what this looks like. If we just go to preview, now we've got a line, but that's block one, well, that's block three. Uh, block two and block four, the ones we moved over to go to the other side, so we need to bring them back into play. Again, it's really, really easy to do that. If we go to block two, you'll see here it's got a minus four, seven, nine. I'm just gonna hit zero there and look, it's back in play. Let's go to content. I'm just going to reverse the items back again like that. Uh, here's where you might just need to do a bit of jiggery pokery now. I'm going to go to my style and go with minus 21 like that. And on my text, I think we had 15. Yeah, that's right. We had 15 there and we zeroed it out because it remember it was swapped over. What I can now do is like copy that and paste the style or just manually do it because it might be that you've got very different values in there. So I'm just going to go over here to my block. I'm going to put in a minus 22 instead there because I know, sorry, not minus 22, minus 21. Uh, let's just go over to the content, reverse it again. So it goes back like that. Go to my rich text. You get into the flow of what you were doing, right? 15 there. And then we have a zero there. And what we now have, if I just save that and we go to preview, is we have our timeline with all of the items below one another. And if we were to go back over to our desktop, well, let's just do the preview on that again. Everything is fine. You know, it, it's all still in the same right place. So without using any other extra plugin or funky code or any other templates, this is a quick and easy way of how you can build your own timeline in Bricks Builder like this. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squad, and I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'll see you soon.
Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain, live the grind, I could change, in my mind, pick a lane, commit and climb, the only way, to win it life, I never miss that fact, taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.